I'm Kevin Ann Hunt and I will be graduating summer 2013 with my Master's of Science. Um, I'm Jessica Shine and I will be graduating um, in May of 2013 with my Master's of Science. I got my undergraduate degree in biology at IPFW and I really liked the lab I worked in. I had a great setup to continue doing research, um, really good research and get some really nice publications from a master's degree. So I chose to stay. I finished up my bachelor's at Butler and wasn't really sure if I wanted to get a PhD or continue science or work, get a real person job, I guess, or <laughs> what. So I started looking for master's programs and um, I also had a year of eligibility left for soccer. So um, I knew the coach at IPFW, and he encouraged me to look at the master's program here. I stumbled upon Dr. Murad's lab because I knew I wanted to work with plants, and I saw the great work that they were doing. Um, I saw that they had some great undergraduates there, and they had been pumping out some papers um, pretty recently, so it was a really cool place. I actually was walking down the hall one day, and Dr. Murad's door was open, so I popped in and talked to him, and he's a huge soccer fan, so um, he just made it really easy for me to transition in, play soccer, start my research, um, and have pretty much every opportunity that I could possibly have in a master's degree. So um, We work on nucleobase transporters. Um, membrane transporters. So yes. nucleobases, they're the building blocks of DNA, but also they're involved in several other vital processes all throughout uh, the animal and plant and <laughs> everything. Every living organism yeah. has these transporters. Mm -hmm. So to learn their structure and what they transport is extremely important for antifungal, antimicrobial, anti-cancer, mm -hmm. basically treating gout, uh, many different things. Yeah, it's used in the um, study for I don't know, higher functioning ways to produce biofuels um, because to produce anything that's rich in energy, ATP, you have to have nucleobases. Um, so these are pretty much applicable to anything. So um, we look at what exactly those transporters move and then once we know what they move, we can compare their structure to each other and then that can be used to design different transporters for all those purposes. I and the volunteer assistant soccer coach for IPFW Women's Soccer. And then also, I'm a teaching assistant um, for the biology department. I've taught intro to biology evolution, or it's actually um, ecology and evolution. It's our intro to biology class that I taught. And then I've also taught microbiology for our nursing majors and um, anatomy and physiology, which has been a great experience. You learn a lot about you learn a lot about teaching, a lot about people, and a lot about different subject matters when you go through this TA process. Oh, yeah. I know that a lot of times we have to utilize each other to prepare to teach a certain subject. Um, there's a lot of things that Kevin has more experience than me in, and we definitely like sit back and swap you know, expertise and stories, and um, we have a lot of fun teaching. So that was another really great opportunity to be involved in here. Mm -hmm. I haven't been involved with too many clubs or organizations. I finished my undergraduate here in three years. I had the Chancellor's Distinguished Scholarship in three years and was able to participate in Dr. Murad's lab. He just saw my enthusiasm on day one as a freshman and amazingly let me work <laughs> in his lab. So I got great experience in those three years in the lab, continued to get my master's, and now I have some publications um, underway. One publication is complete. <laughs> Um, that feels amazing, being a published author at such a young age. Um, I was able to take extracurricular courses, so things that I'm really interested in would be computer science, physics, chemistry, math. So I took a lot of courses that were outside what my degree is, which some universities wouldn't support. So, and especially getting the TA ship from mm -hmm. IPFW, being able to uh, get such amazing research experience in the lab we work in and teach and have that amazing experience which a lot of universities don't give you. I've taught, I will have taught six semesters once I graduate, yeah. which is unheard of. <laughs> a lot more experience than anybody else going yeah. into PhDs. Yeah, definitely. And being supported the whole time to do all those things was amazing. Everyone at IPFW gets along so well and I'm friends with almost everyone I see in the hallway. I love all the professors. Yeah, um, and you know everyone. Yeah. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Murad really went above and beyond. He goes above and beyond for Everything. all of his students. Yes. 
Yeah, way more than I could have ever imagined. Basically changed my life. Absolutely. I mean, you see this man who is so involved in a lot of different things other than our lab, yet he is trying to come into the lab and show us something that we don't understand or just pop in and ask us about our lives and our friends and family or, um, I mean, just applying to PhD programs. He was extremely helpful in choosing the schools for solid reasons, you know, which ones I should apply to and why, what people I should look at, whether it's looking to work with a professor who's very early in their career or a late stage professor looking to retire, what I should look in in a professor to work with through my PhD. So really us, we both got into amazing programs right. for a PhD. Right, and I think the reason we were able to get into such competitive programs, I mean, Kevin, your University of Chicago is Ninth in the world for research yeah. universities. And then Michigan State is the number two plant school in the United States. So, I mean, we're not going to just any PhD <laughs> programs. We're going to really great programs. We're going to be working with, like, top scientists in our field, mm -hmm. in any field, really, yeah. which is very exciting. And I think we're able to do that just based on the opportunities that Dr. Mark gave us. I mean, we've probably spent more money between the two of us than most other master's programs oh. give to <laughs> their entire department. <laughs> so, I mean, we've done a lot of research in our time. Oh, yeah. More than and we, yeah. anyone else. <laughs> Her and I together, we've worked on, what, six different projects? Possibly five, six publications Yeah. each. Mm -hmm. So, which is kind of cool. Yeah, you should get about three publications out of a PhD, and we should be getting five to six out of a master's degree, yeah. thanks mm -hmm. to Dr. Moran. Yeah. Starting out five years ago, the lab was completely different. I was kind of working alone, it was a little more subdued, so having so much enthusiasm from Jessica and then just the whole atmosphere, everyone coming together. I know now when we leave, we're leaving a legacy behind. A whole different way of doing things. Yeah, and the undergrads will be working as hard as we did as master's students, and I can't even imagine what new <laughs> master's Poor students kids. will be expected <laughs> to do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But that, and Kevin brings up a really important note you know, before we came in here, everyone worked on their own projects, on their own time, had their own everything. Yes, once in a while they would talk, but I think a lot of science is, a, is about collaboration, and I'm a very social person, and I'm a very colorful person, and, you know, sometimes a little too excited, but I met Kevin, who had this excellent, you know, reservoir of knowledge and techniques and experience, and I had this, like, I don't know, naive, <laughs> unbridled enthusiasm, <laughs> um, and just, you know, love of science, and we put our loves of science together and had, like, what, six months where we were in the lab every single day together, mm -hmm. just one thing after the next after the next, and we learned how to collaborate, and we had some good times and bad times and hard times and extremely amazing times, yeah. but we learned how to collaborate, and we showed others how to collaborate, and now Dr. Murad's lab is based on collaboration. Um, it's, you know, the coming together of two different people, either both with experience or one with and one without experience, and figuring out how to solve problems, figuring out how to troubleshoot. And those are things you figure out in your PhD. Those are things that you don't figure out in a master's degree. Um, I'm going to accept the offer from University of Chicago. So, again, that is one of the best research universities in the world, the world renowned. <laughs> so I'm really excited to go there and work with the people there. Um, I'm not exactly sure what research I'm going to get into yet. I'm really passionate about many different fields, and University of Chicago uh, gives you great opportunities to blend what you're passionate about, so we'll see. <laughs> That's really exciting. Yeah. Um, I'm going to Michigan State. Um, I was accepted to their biomolecular science PhD program, so it's an umbrella program um, that encompasses six different degrees. I haven't decided which one I'm going to get yet. Probably either biochemistry or um, genetics, or maybe both. They have the option to do both, which I would love to do. Um, but at the same time, I have no idea what research I want to work on. I have several professors that I'm interested in working with, um, and I will start there in June.